Are you trying to launch FC25, but EA Anti-Cheat slams you with a weird error about Dissoft LTD or Daemon tools being detected? You didn't install cheats, you're not modding anything, but still, your game refuses to start? You're not alone. And in this video, I'll show you exactly what's going on, why EA Anti-Cheat is flagging this, and how to fix it step by step, even if you've never touched Daemon tools before. Let's get right into it. Why this happens? So first, what is this error even about? A anti-cheat is extremely sensitive when it comes to tools that interact with virtual drives or disk emulation. Daemon Tools, made by Disksoft LTD, is one of the most common disk mounting tools, and EAC doesn't like it. Even if you don't use Daemon Tools today, if it was ever installed, or if there are leftover drivers or registry entries from it, A anti-cheat will block your game from launching. It might say something like, a conflicting program is running, Disksoft LTD, Daemon Tools. Let's fix that. Step 1. Uninstall Daemon Tools or any disk emulator. Press Windows plus R, type appwiz.cpl, and hit Enter. In the list, look for anything like Daemon Tools, Power ISO, Alcohol 120%, or anything that mentions virtual drives. Right-click and uninstall. Then, restart your PC. Step 2. Clean up leftover virtual drivers. Sometimes the software is gone, but the virtual drive driver is still active. Right-click on Start Go to Device Manager. Expand Storage Controllers or System Devices. Look for anything suspicious like Softbus 01, Virtual SCSI Controller, Generic Virtual Disk. If you see it, right-click Uninstall Device. Reboot your PC again. Step 3. Remove Registry Leftovers, Advanced. Let's clean up what's left in the system registry. Press Windows plus R, Type regedit, press enter. Navigate to hay underscore local underscore machine backslash system backslash current control set backslash services backslash. Look for anything named softbus01, daemon, or anything related to disksoft ltd. Right click and delete the key. Warning, always back up the registry before making changes. Step four, reinstall EA anti-cheat. Now that everything related to daemon tools is removed, reinstall EAC to refresh its detection system. Open your FC25 install folder. Go to C colon backslash program files backslash EA backslash AC backslash. Right click EA anti cheat installer.exe run as administrator. Choose FC25 from the dropdown. Click Uninstall, then Install again. Step 5. Run EA App and FC25 as Administrator. Right-click on the EA App Shortcut Properties. Go to the Compatibility tab. Enable Run This Program as an Administrator. Do the same for FC25's.exe file inside the Game folder. Extra tips if problem persists. If you've done all of this and the game still won't launch, try this. Download Autoruns for Windows from Microsoft Sys Internals. Open it and search for Daemon, Soft, or anything from Disksoft LTD. If it shows up under Drivers or Services, uncheck or delete those entries. And one more thing, don't use tools like Virtual Drives, Advanced ISO Managers, or anything that installs system drivers while EA Anti-Cheat is running. Even if it's not cheating software, EAC treats anything that hooks into the kernel as suspicious. All right, that's it. Your game should now launch without any Daemon Tools errors. If this helped you, drop a like so others can find it. Comment below if you're still stuck. I reply to every legit question. And don't forget to subscribe for more clean, tested fixes just like this, especially for FC25 and other new EA titles. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. No, I don't teach. I got no love for the fakeness. If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll always show up and make a statement. I don't ever slow up. No, I don't teach. I got no love for the fakeness. If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll always show up and make a statement. Everything I do, so instinctive.